Yo, what is going on? I don't know what it's about to go down right now, but all I know is I'm about to react to my first ever video I made on stuttering. And now this was filmed about three and a half years ago, June 2nd, 2018. 2019, 2020, 2020. Yeah, I think that's three and a half years ago. And I'm just gonna review it. Um, see what happens and see if any of my perceptions, any of my mentalities, any of my mindsets, any of my ways of addressing the stutter has changed because I know it has. So let's react to it, all right? Let's go. And when it's starting to record, I just want to say my name is Chess Gillis and I help people overcome stuttering. I wasn't helping people here. I was just putting out my fucking ideas, but let's react to this now. Let's go. What's up? It's Chase, and I'm standing in front of your screen today to tell you one simple way to overcoming your stutter. Oh, one simple way to overcoming your stutter. Dun, dun, dun. Um, <laughs> of course, there's not one simple way, but here I tell the foundations that is still true. I might word it differently now, but this is the foundation to overcoming your stutter. It's not one simple way, but. Your, your stutter. I'm gonna swear there, swear. And I, and I was about to swear there, but I said swear. My, art, my articulation at the time was still pretty trash. It's gotten a lot better. I used to always mumble all my words. So along with the stutter, I used to mumble so fucking much. So a little, a little sneak peek into my. I promise you this works because I have a stutter also and it sucked. Okay, what? I don't know how much I'm gonna pause this, but I said I have, I had a stutter also in the form of like I no longer stutter, which is so fucking untrue. Because a little insight to this is legitimately like a week after I made this video, I had one of the worst relapses ever. It lasted for about two months and it was severe, severe stuttering. And I was like the stutter god kicking me in the ass and saying, don't fucking say that. Like you still stutter. You have gotten a better mentality about it. It comes less and less and less but you still stutter. It doesn't hold you back the same way, but you still stutter. So don't say you no longer stutter. That's something I no longer say. I say I overcame my stutter because it doesn't hold me back at all. And the severity of it is like one millionth of what it used to be, but I still stutter from time to time. It really sucked. Tell me if this sounds familiar to you. Phone calls, job interviews, talking to people, friends and family, it doesn't matter. Anytime you would stutter, only time you would not stutter or stutter significantly less is by yourself or even try to talk to your dogs, your cats. You will not stutter nearly, nearly as much. And so that's my promise to you. This is the last video you will have to click on if you want to overcome your stutter. I used to. On a very bad day. First, like, actually, like, look for the fucking hair, though. That shit's crazy. Very bad day. Every once in a while that I have, I would watch an hour of how to overcome stutter videos. And they would tell me these things. And I'd be like, wow, that makes sense. And, and you can also tell, too, like, where the voice is coming from. The voice used to always come from out here, and I used to always talk like that, and it would make me really have to push to be loud. But through the breath work and through the morning routines that I've developed through these past years, pushing my breath down more, so it's less effort to speak, and it's less or um, not raspy, but like tinny, I guess. Um, I forget the right the right word for it. Um, that's something that's changed a lot that you can prob that you can probably tell. In any of them, I would just go back doing my regular stuff, and 
on the days I did act on them, very few. They didn't help. And uh, I thought I was lost. I thought with no overcoming stutter. If these people overcame their stutter by doing these things, that's not helping me. And I have this rare, it's not even a stutter, it must be something else that like is uncurable, right? I want to swear so badly, but that's such BS. You can overcome it and you will. But you have to get to the root of the problem. These other videos tell you read a book out loud by, by yourself. You'll gain the confidence of saying the words correctly and then you can go and talk to people. But reading by yourself is not the problem. You, you can do that. But it's the emotions that you get when you try to talk to somebody. When you try to go in the job interview, when you try to make the phone call, those emotions are the emotions that make you stutter. That, that shit's still so fucking true. Like reading out loud with the book, I can see it can help in some small way, but it's not going to fucking help you. It's not going to be the thing that gets you to overcome your stutter because you can already do that. And when you're reading out loud, you're in a safe environment with limited anxiety, with calm emotions. But the emotions that arise and the tension that arises when you're in an interaction, when you're in a conversation is completely fucking different than in a room by yourself. And if you're really trying to practice and really trying to overcome your stutter, you can't be playing it small. You can't be only learning to read out loud in a room by yourself. You need to go lift heavier weights. You need to go in higher stress situations and then feel that it's safe to stutter. That's what you need to feel. And you need to desensitize yourself to the judgments of others. You can't just read in a room by yourself because it's not going to translate to high stress situations. I promise you. A feeling of embarrassment, of stress, of helplessness, of anxiety. Have you noticed on days that you don't stutter as much? You don't have those emotions? So you can tell how they correlate. They're an exact correlation of how much you will stutter based on how much you feel those emotions. A little different now is like, it's not an exact correlation to how much you feel anxiety, how much you feel nervousness, how much you feel that, because sometimes you don't feel it. Sometimes it's not anxiety. Sometimes it's just a repressed emotion you don't even fucking feel. And it's just adding tension to you. It's an uncomfortability, maybe an unconscious anger towards somebody. Maybe it's a little inner resentment you haven't let go of. You may not feel it consciously, but in your body, it's still there. So I would change now saying you will stutter with the amount of tension in your body. And you may feel the tension consciously as anxiety and shit or maybe a lot of subconscious shit going on so knowing this this is when i came to the realization of what i need to do to minimize those emotions without just pushing them down because trying to push them down and not accepting them will make it your stutter worse so before I tell you what I did, my when, what, when I came to my realization and the exercise that I did, the exercises that I did. Again, I keep saying did. This isn't something that I just stopped. This is something that's a, that's a fucking journey. And I'm still pushing myself. And I'm still leaving my comfort zone to this day it's not like oh do it for six months and then you're good no it's this shit you got to continue i made a mistake by saying that do not feel those emotions anymore i have to make a disclaimer here <laughs> music pauses look at me in the eyes if you're not going to take action if you haven't had that breaking point where you've thought to yourself i'm fed up with this stutter and I'm not going to let it control my life anymore. 
you haven't had that internal desire to actually overcome your stutter, then this, just click off this video right now. I like because that. you will watch this video and you will just go on throughout your day. You have to take action on this. And I promise you, this is the last video you will have to watch. Click off it right now. This video is not for you. Fucking powerful. Just really make people tune into this shit. That was some good shit. I'm going to implement some of that more. Guys, click off this fucking video right now if you're not going to take action, all right? It won't work for you. Now, for you still watching, what is up? Are you ready? Oh. You signed the contract. You have to do whatever I'm saying now. You're still on the video. Did I grow an upper lip? Or is it the same? You have to. You have to. You promised me. And I take promises very seriously. So if you don't, you're not only going to hurt me. No, you're not only going to hurt yourself. You're going to hurt me really badly. So the realization that I had is those feelings. Helplessness, embarrassment, stress, anxiety. If there is a way for me to get more embarrassment, more anxiety, more stress, then that, those feelings I have when I stutter will feel a lot less. It, like, deep inside, when I stutter in front of someone, I won't feel as embarrassed because I just did something more embarrassing. Do you know what I'm saying? Say you're lifting 10 pound weights. Okay, I'm going to end this here because I'm going to do the last half. The last, I might do this in three parts. I'm not too sure. It's going to be too, too long if I don't cut it into parts though. So I'm going to end this here. What I'm about to say is really fucking val really fucking valuable, but I would still switch up how I say it. And the way, yeah, the way I said it, um, and maybe just, yeah, just ward it differently and definitely add some things to it based off what I've learned so far, because this isn't like the only thing that you need. It's a huge part of it, but it's not the only thing that you need. There's more that goes into it. There's more psychological shit. There's past traumas, there's conditioned ways of being, and there's a lot more shit you need to address. But little, a little chase here still had very, very good intentions. And I look forward to actually watching the rest of this video. But so far, it does make me cringe a little bit watching me do these like awkward, expressive things that I may have not been feeling in the moment, but I had the mentality back then, fake it till you make it, which I'm not a total fan of now. I'm a fan of, um, there's like, the body language aspect of that fake until you make it like physically putting your body in the good positions, which is good. But also like if you're faking your emotions and doing all that, that's going to contradict you in your stuttering journey. So there's a lot more shit I need to dive into here, but I hope you took value from this. I hope it was a bit entertaining as well. And if you want to overcome your stutter, the authentic way, those speech techniques, without tricks or gimmicks, but by addressing the real anxiety, real fear, the way I did it, the way my clients are doing right now as well, then you can click the closest link down below in the description, book your free one-on-one -on -one call and talk to me personally, okay? I love you, talk to you soon.